Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Guardian 2.0 from Vertex. If you're anything like me, you find it hard to comfortably carry and have accessible your firearm in a nicer apparel like this when you're dressing up, maybe for church or you're going to like a wedding or some kind of event that you just want to dress up a little nicer. This shirt I have found to be one of my favorites to use, especially in summertime because it's a short sleeve, but it does also come in a long sleeve if you want that option. But I really like the short sleeve option, especially for summer weddings or going to church. Now I'm going to go over some of the key features of this shirt and why I like it so much so you guys can see if it's something that you might want to purchase for yourself. Now I'm going to say I'm not a professional clothing maker. I don't review clothes very often. All I can say is I've worn this shirt for over two years and I've really enjoyed it. And this has become my favorite shirt to wear out in public if I wanted to dress up nice. If I want to comfortably carry and have accessibility to my firearm easily. Now let's get into my relationship with Vertex before we get any further in this video. Now I'm a longtime customer of this company, but they did send me this shirt to try out and test. I did buy one of these. I'm not sure which one exactly, but I've had this one for two years and I've had these ones. Uh, for I think a year and maybe a little less than a year. I also test a lot of their backpacks. I have a lot of reviews on their backpacks as well. Really love this company and the clothing they make. I also wear their duty pants for work every day and really like those as well. A couple of their jackets and hard shells. So they have a lot of things to offer on their website. Also I have a discount code for 20% off if you guys are interested at any time throughout this video, you're wanting anything like their backpacks or anything uh, that will save you 20% off their stuff. Now let's get into the full review and I just wanna go over real quickly cause it's not gonna be a long review of all the key features features of this shirt to help you make a decision if this is something that you might want to purchase for yourself. So like I said, I'm not a professional shirt maker, so I don't know what all the stitching, the materials, I'm not really great about that. I'm not gonna pretend like I am. I'm just gonna tell you guys, I've worn this for two years. It's held up very well. I have not had any kind of issue with durability. It's very comfortable to move in. I know they have some stitching and the way the things are designed, uh, it's to make it a little more comfortable in your arms and chest area. I am very comfortable in this when I wear it for long periods of time. Now for my favorite part of this shirt. So there's a seam right here on the top. And what I like is you can lift this up it is sewn here so you cannot lift it any further and it gives you full accessibility to your firearm at your hip. Now this is an undershirt that actually is connected to the shirt. So this is not uh, two different shirts. As you can tell from this shirt here, this is an actual undershirt that is sewn in. So you have the undershirt there that you can wear and what that does is that prevents your firearm from digging into your skin and being uncomfortable for a long period of times. This just kind of the buffer between your skin and the firearm, especially if you have a gun with light stippling or a heavier textured grip, this helps prevent that. And I absolutely love carrying with a shirt because of that, because a lot of the times I will throw an undershirt on just to prevent that, but this is all in one and the ability to lift this up and have quick access to your firearm and everything's connected here. And the shirt looks nice. It's then it's still form fitting for the most part. It's not like a really baggy shirt to make sure it's concealable, uh, but definitely a shirt that I really recommend and love wearing. Now I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of B-roll here of stitching and just different areas of the shirt, just so you guys get a really good look at the shirt for yourself, because I know that stuff's important for some people. If not important to you, you can just listen to me talk about some different things. Now it looks like there are buttons, but these are actually snaps. So you can snap these ones on the bottom and open them up, but there's really no reason to open up the bottom ones. But you can also snap, sorry about that, I had the mic set up here, so that might've been annoying, but you can also pull the top ones as well. They have multiple different colors on their website for you to choose from. I got three different colors here, this light gray being my favorite, uh, just because I think it goes the most with the stuff that I wear, uh, but I definitely like to switch it up with these. They have long sleeve ones and I'm looking at getting one of those here soon so I can wear those here in the wintertime or in the fall or spring when it's a little bit cooler out where I can't really wear these as much. Um, I kind of haven't been able to wear these much just because of the weather being really cold right now, but in the summertime when it starts, the weather starts getting a little bit warmer, wear these things all the time. So, so like I said, this isn't a very long video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video overlooking this shirt. So if you guys are on the fence about it or if you've never even heard about it, maybe this will give you an idea of something that works for you and I know how hard it is to conceal when wanting to dress up a little bit nicer. This is just a really nice way to do it and still have accessibility to your firearm or whatever other tools you put on your belt. And I really like Vertex as a company because they really think about the clothes that they make and making them more for the prepared individual. They actually have a comms cord spot in here that can go through uh, the undershirt up and through the top. So if you're somebody that's wearing undercover or you were for a sheriff's officer or a police department and you're wearing plain clothes, you can still have comms and whatnot depending on what you're doing with this. So another benefit for those of you that want to wear plain clothes at work.
If you guys have any questions about this shirt or anything from Vertex, I've tested a lot of their stuff. Go ahead and shoot it in the comments. I'd be happy to answer if I can. If you guys want to help out the channel, the things I do here, there's a couple of discount codes down in the description along with the Vertex discount code, which is 20% off. It's just a pretty significant discount, which will help you save you guys some money with the companies that I trust. Also, there's a link to my website from there. You can use other links like Brownells, Air Precision, Premier Body Armor, anything using those links does help out the channel, and I appreciate that. Another couple of companies that help out the channel and support me are Howitzer and TA Targets, two fantastic companies. Howitzer donates 5% of proceeds to charity, which is huge, and TA Targets has some great targets that I use at my range every day. You can use code Tactical Advisor to save 10% off of your order. Other than that, guys, thank you so much. I got SHOT Show coming just around the corner. I've got some more bags here from Vertex that I'm going to be reviewing. I've got a review on this one if you guys are interested, along with a lot of other bags from them. Haven't decided which bag I want to do. If there's one specific that you guys would like to see reviewed, let me know, and I will go downstairs and I will get a video of that for you guys. I like to make bag reviews because I go really in-depth with everything and just show all the details of the bags for you guys and hopefully help you guys make a better decision on if you want it or if you don't want it, if it works for you or not. I know it's a really hard decision when it comes to bags, especially if you want to carry a gun because you got to get really the right size. I made a video going over all the bag sizes and what guns fit and what guns don't. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, it's here. That video I think was helpful for a lot of people just because it's hard to decide, you know, will my gun actually fit in here like I want it to. Uh, maybe later on I'll do another video of that with some of the newer bags that I have. But anything that you guys want to see, please let me know and I will try to make it happen for you. Other than that, guys, thank you so much and I appreciate you all.